B is for Broadway by John Robert Allman. A is for auditions at which actors try their best. A chorus line puts dazzling driven dancers to the test. B is for backstage, a buzz with bustling cast and crew. Look out for curtains, chandeliers, and costumes coming through. C's for choreographers, who dramatize with dances, from Mr. Robin's rumbles to Miss Stroman's sweet romances. D is for directors and designers, whose decisions can ensure a show is smashing and as vibrant as their visions. E is for ensemble, or the singing dancing chorus. In 42nd Street, their thrilling tapping talents floor us. F is for finales that make second acts complete. Watch Tracy shake and shimmy singing You Can't Stop the Beat. G is for the glitter and the glow of Broadway's lights on the magical marquees that beam on brilliant opening nights. H is hits like Hamilton, which crowds and critics cheer. A smash like Rent or Wicked sells out year to year. Eyes for intermission or the break between the acts, for, pursue, for perusing playbills, scoring souvenirs, or snagging snacks. J is for the jazz hands that were favorite moves of Fosse's, for Chicago and Sweet Charity and Pippin's playful posses. K is for those killer kick lines musicals provide. See Lisa and her chorus kicking side by side by side. L is for the leading men and ladies fans adore, whose powerhouse performances leave patrons wanting more. M is for the makeup used for flawless feline faces before the cast of cats is set to scamper to their places. N is for the national tours that share New York's sensations with cities around the country where they're welcomed with ovations. O is for the orchestras that skillfully play scores as they follow their conductor's lead from under the stage's floors. P is for playwrights who write poignant, potent plays, their comedies and dramas met with prizes and with praise. Q is for a quick change, which can help an actress switch to a stunner within seconds from a wrinkly, wicked witch. R is for revivals, which, when daringly directed, can revitalize a show in ways unique and unexpected. S is for the songwriters whose stirring, soaring tunes are what Henry Higgins bellows and what Dolly Levi croons. T is for the Tony, which is short for Antoinette. Every June, the best of Broadway win the spinning statuette. U's for understudies, who swoop in if there's a sprain. At this performance, Gladys will be played by Miss McLean. V is for the vocals that can reach the mezzanine, whether Adelaide and Nathan or the Phantom and Christine. W is for the wigs. Performers often wear their characters completed by their snazzy, stylish hair. X is for the X-shaped spikes that stagehands stick to stages so that Stokes is sure of where to stand as Don Quixote rages. Y is for the youngest stars to stun with song and dancing as optimistic Annie or as anxious Evan Hansen. Z's for Mr. Ziegfeld and producers who invest in provocative productions penned by some of Broadway's best. From A to Z, you know the showbiz slang you've got to know. So as Ethel Merman belted out, let's go on with the show. The end.